Hello YouTubers, uh, this is Vince aka The Bearded Bushman uh, Today just going over my kit which I would take with us uh, The uh, shit at the van Any sort of bug out scenario Or any sort of just little camping trip that I generally go on Right, as you can see in front of us all the uh, stuff laid out Let's go through it This section is what I would carry on a little belt system that I've uh, got. It all goes in like little tactical pouches. A, as you can see, a little bush knife, really sharp, really good piece of kit. A set of binoculars, spare batteries, a zipper lighter. I think that needs refilling actually, come to think of it. A little uh, military torch, an emergency whistle, some bootlaces, knife sharpening uh, capabilities, uh, ceramic and metal as well as the little diamond rod, a emergency credit card sized knife, a little survival tin with loads of goodies in it, some brass snare wire, a headlamp, a Frisium rod, a mini Leatherman, another tactical uh, torch, quick access, quite bright, 100 foot paracord, 550, a little quick grab uh, first aid kit, it's got uh, gauze, paracetamols, uh, brufen, water infiltration tablets, some uh, adhesive uh, strips, uh, some normal plasters, some chapstick, a few bits and bobs in there which I'd consider that I'd need for minor cuts, etc. Some hot hands, an emergency shelter, a space blanket which could be used as a emergency shelter, and a camouflage woodland arm edition a rain poncho. And that really covers sort of like the belt system which I would go to first before actually accessing uh, my bag. Right. The rest of the stuff goes into my uh, my bug out bag. This is just a like a little wash kit bag, full of uh, like little goodies, paracord bracelet. Obviously, I'd be wearing that. A uh, little sewing kit inside there, storage bottle, uh, some gorilla tape, spare carabiners, some electrical tape, just a general notepad. It's not a right in the rain one. A uh, some of the uh, folding wire saws, quite a lot of batteries, some earplugs, another knife sharpener, uh, again some more hot hands, and a deck of playing cards, just to take your mind off stuff, uh, have a break, chill out, and if need be, keep other people occupied as well, and a Sharpie marker pen. Uh, this bag is purely for cordage, uh, it's full of various lengths of paracord, there's two 100 foot easy accessible uh, to the top of my bag, uh, putting up shelters, tying stuff together etc, you can never have enough paracord in my eyes. A uh, little folding shovel with pick capabilities, a uh, little compass in the end of it. It's a bit of a cheap thing, but it does the job. A, a wind-up and solar-powered radio. A keep up to date what's going on if it was an emergency situation. A, or just to chill out with by the fire. You've got a bit of uh, entertainment with the radio. Listen to some music, chill out. A, as it's a, a wind-up one, you can also charge uh, your mobile phone, etc. It is USB compatible. And there's the various leads to go with it. I've got uh, a little iPod that I take and I love my music so that would come in handy for me. Uh, moving along, uh, this is my sort of little uh, food section. I've got enough to last roughly about 2-3 days in there. Just different packets of rice, some super noodles, some quick grab beef jerky, a uh, knife spock uh, kit. Uh, my hexi stove, uh, just above that, a wind up torch. Obviously, the batteries won't last forever. A mover torch and an alternate light source. It does actually get quite bright. Uh, a couple of quid off Amazon, can't go wrong. 
Uh, next you'll see my tool sort of section and my knives. I am a big knife collector. I do have a lot of knives elsewhere. These are just a couple of things that I would actually take with me. I'd use this as self-defense and can be used as uh, it's like a, a machete, it razor sharp. An old like army edition uh, knife, love it, quite weighty, good for battening sticks. Self-defense again, SES, a uh, double-sided blade, razor sharp, a uh, enough said on that one, a little folding saw, mm, it's all right, it does the job, it cuts through logs, a small hatchet, and a little bit of a naughty one, a spring-assisted SOG knife, if you can see that at all, but I love this blade, absolutely love it to pieces. A little pry bar, crowbar for getting into things, uh, pulling nails out of stuff. Also, it's got a bit of weight to it. Again, self defense could be used for. Again, this uh, canteen, it's a one litre and metal stainless steel cup. That's also part of the uh, belt section. Hey, got my water filtration, I've got the mini soya. All the uh, necessary stuff, the straw, the flush back, the bag, and the filler itself. I've got the life straw. Uh, I've got a mini fishing kit and yo-yo rail. Quite handy. It's got all the lures, hooks, winder, swivels, weights, etc. Included in that little bit of kit. Also have a pen fishing rod that's in the other bag at the moment. Bit of light reading, I've got the SES survival guard and a book on knots, very useful. Uh, you should always know how to tie your knots for your hammocks, etc. A, a couple of 12 hour uh, glow sticks, brilliant, does the job. Another litre stainless steel canteen, uh, put on the fire, it should be okay. A uh, well, hand sanitizer, baby wipes. Again, these two uh, medical uh, bandages. They would go in my uh, belt kit. Microfiber towel, some Optrex for any sort of like uh, eye injuries, to be able to wash your eye out. Little fire starter bag. A uh, in here, an old cigar. A case with some gorilla tape wrapped around it, and inside there, just some uh, dry kindling. Get a fire going. Two tubs of uh, windproof, waterproof matches. Brilliant little uh, things. Again, a, an emergency whistle, little uh, freezing rod on there. Just need a striker. Got a little compass on the end of it, and it's full of uh, the waterproof matches. Magnifying kit and torch, so you're not relying on uh, using your lighters all the time. Plus, if you get a sprinkler out, seeing where it is through here will save you getting a big infection. Just some uh, like twine, fray at the end to take a spark to it quite well. And a, a like a, I've got the word of it, it's like a, it's a striker kit. It's got like a match with some. Uh, Formable soaked material, give that a strike. You've got a, like a, an eternal match, it never goes out. In here, we've got some like uh, barbecue starter lighters, sleeping bag with large tarp plus the tarp that all this lot's on, tent pegs, a two, three at a push man tent. Uh, this is my like little treat pack, brew kit, tea, coffee, sugar, brown, white sugar, sweeteners, and like I said, I am smoking. I've got three nice uh, Cuban cigars there. Lovely jubbly. Uh, protecting your hands whilst working with any wood or just dealing with any sort of like, material that you don't want to cut your hands up with. Decent set of gloves, padded knuckles as well, also could be used in self defence. A balaclava. 
along with a set of spare cargo bottoms, t-shirt, boxers, socks, etc. A uh, silk scarf, a shimog, a solar panel for charging up mobile phones, etc. Any other any other electronics such as, like I mentioned, my iPod, uh, some bungee cord. I like tower wraps. A uh, loads of uses for these. A uh, yeah, always carry a good good bunch of with you. A big wad of kitchen roll. Could be used a uh, get a fire going. Obviously, bear shit in the woods. Also, you'll need to navigational a like military style compass. It's nice, it does the job. A local uh, road map for where I am, Yorkshire and Humber from Hull. So I've got a few bug out spots picked out. And marked up on there as well as uh, locked in my phone as well. Well, I'll put all this lot back in its bag and I'll show my bag when it's uh, fully packed. Back in a bit. Right, guys, that's all my gear packed up. Uh, there, all is in the bag. Tent attached to the side, sleeping uh, bag, all the equipment inside. Uh, there's my little belt rig up, which I mentioned. Got my little military uh, light to your left, tactical pouch, another tactical pouch, knife, and my military canteen. Uh, one thing I didn't really go into much detail on uh, was my first aid kit. Uh, I'll just go into that now. Right, this is my little first aid kit. Uh, it was sort of bought, just this little kit. Uh, I have added a few bits and bobs into there that more suits myself and what I need. Also, I did like a little LED light to see uh, inside the uh, first aid kit when it's dark. Uh, also helps with opening it one-handed. Right, so chapstick rolling away there. Some hot hands, some emergency vitamin C, and a like an immunity boost. A it also improves the taste of uh, filtered water because uh, sometimes the tablets give it a bit of a, a rank tasting. A triangle bandage, uh, some adhesive gauze, some super glue. Super glue was uh, created for the purpose of uh, gluing soldiers back together. So you've all got it stuck to your fingers, you know how good it, it, it takes the skin and can seal up uh, wounds quite fast and also provides a, protect, a protective uh, barrier. A little bag of uh, cotton makeup wipes and Q-tips, uh, cleaning and if need be, a uh, turn them into tinder, uh, get a fire going. Again, some more uh, bandages nail clippers, uh, getting all the crap from underneath your fingers uh, after trawling about on the woodland floor you don't want all the mud etc stuck underneath them just keep up to date uh, with like your hygiene scrape underneath your fingernails give them a wash in the uh, antibacterial hand uh, hand wash some antiseptic cream, uh, some savlon, swear by it uh, another emergency uh, space blanket a little pair of scissors some uh, sterile rubber gloves, vacuum sealed. A load of uh, Oasis water purification tablets. A deep heat patch. Uh, in here we've got like antihistamines. I do suffer from hair fever and other allergies, and they always sort it out. Uh, some medium antidiarrheal uh, tablets. You don't want to be caught with uh, bad guts out in the woods. Some tramadol, very, very strong painkillers and kind of sedatives. Well, they make me feel drowsy. Uh, again, some uh, allergy relief tablets, some busk pan uh, for like IBS relief. I don't suffer with it, but they do calm your stomach down. Uh, some strong paracetamols. Some amitriptyline uh, sleeping tablets. I do have issues with my sleep, so a good night's kip. 
a yeah it helps you out gives you back your energy uh, again some uh, paracetamols some alcohol pads uh, cleaning wounds etc some pro plus if you're stuck out in the wild and you need a bit of energy you can't be asked to make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea get a couple of these down your neck he, uh, they do keep you awake some uh, look like clear strips that you put on your tongue gear fresh breath there's a couple of them in there uh, again some alcohol swabs some large uh, uh, bandage some uh, cold and flu remedies plus it also uh, can give you a nice hot lemon drink again taking the taste away from the uh, filtered water and again some uh, non-adhesive pads uh, just to uh, stick over wounds etc and again that would this full kit would go in the sort of like front pouch to my my bag for quick easy access uh, so you are fanning about rooting about looking for stuff when you need it it is there for you right a uh, also on my bag a uh, there's more of these lights on the zippers uh, just to help you see etc zippers have got like little carabiners on them to help open them I think that's about it. Uh, any comments, please uh, leave some decent feedback. I'll take it as all constructive feedback. I do also uh, have a hammock, a new like tarp and basher uh, ordered, uh, along with some bolt crops as well. I do have a, a mini toolkit, which I sometimes put in here. Uh, like I said, the, the pen fishing rod is also in my other bag. Uh, which is in my car at the moment but I will be doing a swap uh, and putting this new bag in my car well hope you've enjoyed thank you very much peace out Vince